Hello everyone. And is this thing on? Okay, yes, good. The the sound is on. Okay, so today I'm going to be make showing you how to make a platformer game in Scratch. So what I what I'm thinking is that go on after this video, go to my channel. No, my account. On Scratch, awesome YC234. I'll leave a description down below in the description. But I'll leave a link down below in the description on how to get there. And please, at the very bottom, chat what you want me to see on how to build, what to, what to build. Because I'm just not thinking of very many ideas. Anyway, without further ado, let's get work. Get to work. Uh, let's go to choose a backdrop. Blue sky. That will be good. And then we want to copy that. And paste that in a new sprite. And then we can switch back to the normal backdrop. The reason is, is we're going to have the backdrop move. So it looks... Looks like our scratchy character is moving in the sky, but in reality he's not. So let's get. So what the the type of of platformer game I'm going to have is where you're jumping from platform to platform. You're jumping from platform to platform while jumping up in the sky while trying while not trying to fall. Now we're going to put this, ah, no, like this. 50, 40, okay. Close to 50. So, this is what I did, and now I want to have it a deep blue at the top. Just like this. Now what we're going to do is stretch this high up. Now this could can become a little tricky. Might take it a little while. But I'm gonna go about this maybe maybe this high. So if you pull it down or I mean pull it down, you see that it goes it can go up to this high. But if we make it negative 20, the top starts to show, the white top. So we don't want that. So, yeah, 519 is the max limit that I can go up to. So let's bring it back there, down. We're going to want Scratchy. I'm going to call him Scratchy. On the ground. Then grab a one flag clicked. Go to wherever as long as it's on the ground. So we're going to have the fact that if touching, hold on, we'll want, we'll want to make sure that he can move. But we're only going to have, unlike some games where you can move in all four directions, we're only going to be able to move in three. Up, right, and left. Or actually, jump, right, and left. If, key, space, right, and left. We're going to want it to go, no, change X by 10, change X by negative 10. Then we have space, we'll want to repeat times 10, change Y by 10. Actually, we'll want 7 and the rest, then... No, we'll want 
six times changing by five. Wait one second, change y by negative five, and then just like just like this. I think this might work. So you can go right and left, or key space. Maybe not one second. 0 0.15 maybe. Yeah. However, because you can own you can only you have to jump but then you have to wait until so we're going to make a entirely new script that features just those two so so you can do it just at the exact same time hmm oh wait so you can do that so you can do this We're gonna have this so Scratch he will be able to point in different directions so it looks like he's it looks like he's moving. But we got a problem. <laughs> he's upside down. So we wanna make sure that we have the right left only. We're gonna set rotation style left right. So now he can only go go like this. And he can't face any other way. Neat, but you can't, you can't really go anywhere yet. We're gonna have a, we're gonna make a new variable, delete the my variable. We're gonna have the, or it's gonna be called jumping, if it's, so, it, this is going to be needed for when we're going to have our gravity script. We we'll want set jumping to yes. And set jumping to no. As well as up here, so nobody can cheat. Then copy this script. Take out most of the stuff, for no reason. So, forever... If, then we're going to get an equals operator, jumping equals no, then we're going to have, we're going to have forever, if, Forever mine change x by negative ten. But it does this. And we don't and we and we don't want that. Cause now it's broken. So we're gonna have a if actually, um get back up here. Um, actually, we have that go-to script. If. If touching color. Then we're going to grab this color. We're going to want it to change Y by 10. So now you got this. Uh. Okay, I don't know what in the world. If touching color... Oh, we we'll want a forever... If jumping equals no, we don't want a forever.
So you can still jump normally. But if you were in the sky, but if you're in the sky, you'd fall back down. So now we actually want to make the platforms that go up. So now we're going to copy this bottom part. And then we're going to have just a couple bars for an example. You might want to set this one a bit further up. which we'll get to later. So you may notice that we can't actually go, we just, we just fall through. Probably because we're not jumping high enough. So if we put this lower on the ground, Hmm. Okay, I got a second plan. <laughs> if touching or touching Sprite 3, which is those platforms. So we're going to have... Wait, what? Oh, because of the jumping script, we're going to have to, so you can now do, you can now do this, pretty sicka, Scratch is floating, he's floating, so now you can actually jump from part to part. Just make sure that you don't put them too close together, otherwise... So, right now you can see that we can't actually get much higher if we were to add more pieces. So, what we'll want is... When flag clicked, forever, if... Oh, if touching, or actually, if the Y position is greater than, if, if Y position is greater than 155, uh, I got a motion, motion, then we'll want to broad, We'll want to broadcast message one and wait one second for it to do its stuff. So when I receive message one repeat times ten change y position by negative ten and we'll want that same thing in here. We'll want a when flag click We'll also want it to go to its original position when it's when it starts, so you don't spawn in the sky. Then now, not forever. You don't want it to be going down forever, and then it get hard. But I can show how to do that. So, so as you jump, see, it scrolls down, so you can keep going higher and higher. Neat, huh? Um, actually, 
No, not paste, paste, not paste again. Back. Back. Oh, wait, what? I want to flip that horizontally. So now there's more. So now there, there will be more things in the sky. So the higher you go up. Whoa. So we'll want to make a script that if you fall down, it will scroll back up. So we'll want to make sure if it's under 213. Why is is if why we want it to broadcast a second message? Message two. Wait, message two. Is less than negative two hundred and thirteen. And message two We'll do the opposite of message one. Okay, so now you could jump up and go higher into the sky, but if you fall down, It'll scroll down slightly. And if you're you end up in the ground, well, uh so you might have noticed that it's a little choppy. So it will want to decrease the wait time. The reason I put a wait time is because so it doesn't scroll up too fast for you. Like that. And then you can do do neat tricks like that. Sometimes if you want to access your platforms, you just got to bring them down a little bit. And then you can move them around. And then when you're done, you can just move them back up again. Make sure you don't move them up too high like I did. Because I, I see what you what what I did there. You might not want that, so you might want to change that. So now you've made a basic um, platformer game, but if you want, if you really want to have some fun, why not add some traps or something? Like maybe you could add a wall right here with with the same colors that means that you have to jump up to the top to get to the next platform that actually is a buff it might not be a trap wow wow oh never mind um okay that glitch might happen <laughs> but don't worry this is just the example project these things happen. See, look, this is what happens if you have too little of a weight. See, this happens. So, you might not have a 0 0.15. You might want to have it maybe 0 0.5 or so. We'll see about that now. So you end up in the ground, but you can jump back up. But <laughs> the game doesn't glitch out. And look, I've reached the top. So that means you might, if you want to add more, you're going to have to go back to this part. And scroll it up more. And once you do, you can put it. When you reach the height that you want, you can put it back.
Or you can make it keep scrolling up. You can actually do this jump glitch. Which to me I find very neat. And sometimes you can end up glitching. With this. And uh, uh you have to reset. Okay, I'm not perfect, okay? This is my this is slightly my first try. This is not my first try though. So if you want to add something else, maybe you can make it larger and then a wall to block this entire section off. But you still can go th through it kind of uh uh um Okay, so maybe you don't want that. Why is it my scratch cat jumping? Never mind. So let's add some bobe traps. So I'm gonna do a basic one. So make sure you know what colors you you are using, because that is the most important part. If you don't, like I'm gonna do white. Just because. Actually, you shouldn't do white. Because that's on your character. Or my character. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to set it to 674. So you could do a... Actually... Okay. So make a square. Then click this. And you can change how it looks. And you can make it pointed. I'm making a spike trap. So there we go. That's a crown. Nice. So then we'll want to put that in the ground. And also... Let's just make it green, because why not? Actually, you'll want, you'll want that border to be brown as well. So we'll want... When, so we're going to have that, so if you touch it, you're going to die. You'll die. So if we put this. If touching that color. Stop all. Or we could change, we're going to change that in a little while. So if you touch it. You, the game stops. The cool thing is that you can go through these, so you can kind of basically float or use them as an elevator. Do you like that thought? How you can use it, but mm, yeah, you gotta be careful when you get down to the ground. But you don't want to touch that. Maybe you don't want that on the first, but, or actually, you can put it further in so people can actually still use it. And maybe move this further up so it's a little harder. Eh? Meh? Okay, so now I'm going to make something different. Actually, no, I'm going to make something, another thing that would be neat. A teleport. Now, you know those teleport shoot thingies from Mario? I'm going to make something similar to that. So let's copy, paste... You do want to make sure that that wherever the teleport goes, it is not higher than two five two five five. Like I don't want to put it up there, otherwise the game would break. And of course, you can skip 
or fast forward at any time because this is this video is getting slightly long. And we're going to if touching that color we'll want we'll make sure that it's a kind of like maybe one way teleport or yeah we're gonna have a one way teleport or yeah actually I want to put this on the wall so you don't get stuck in an infinite teleportation loop because that would be bad There we go. If touching that color will want him to suddenly teleport to right here. So we're gonna have that go to script. And we're gonna have a cooldown of one second. So if you touch that spike, the game stops. But if you somehow are able to You can't, you just teleport and, uh, glitch the game. Oh, I see. Ah, what, what? See, look. So now you teleport straight to right there. Sometimes if you touch it in the wrong spot, you end up kind of glitching it out. And then the game doesn't like it. You see, I don't have anything up here yet. So that's basically all for a basic platformer game. So just a classic with some um, shoots and ladders. I mean, uh... Death traps and teleporters. And walls. Never mind. Don't forget to name name it. Um, if you want to do something extra, please send me a link on how to get to my how how you did on your game, because I would love to play it. And thank you all for watching. Bye.